वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल सो वी आर एट लेक्चर नंबर फोर्टीन ऑन ट्रस्ट एंड वी हैड फ्यू क्वेश्चन दैट वर रिमेनिंग सो ओवर टू गणेश जी थैंक यू वेरी मच वेलकम एवरीबडी and there was just some confusion about uh, some of these terms desire and intention um even confusion between desire and natural acceptance so we wanted you to clarify these words for us <coughs> yeah in fact we decide you know started our discussion uh, on the feeling of trust <clears throat> with this uh, discussion on <clears throat> feeling of being assured and there we said that if we can see that everybody deep down in terms of their natural acceptance wants to be happy and make others happy this at least we can verify for ourselves mm-hmm. that given the choice ultimately we would like to be happy and make others happy this is our natural acceptance and this is something in a something which is innate something which is invariant something which is uncorrupted by all our preconditionings right so this natural acceptance is what we are calling as intention this natural acceptance is what we are calling as intention so in that sense intention is right right our natural acceptance is right that is what we have been verifying that given all our <laughs> background all kind of preconditionings all our association with different types of sensations still our natural acceptance is for relationship and not for opposition hmm. so this we can see that our natural acceptance is for feeling of relationship and not for the feeling of opposition so that natural acceptance is same for all of us for all of us it is something which is innate something which is intact something which is which is invariant so when we see that our natural acceptance is to be happy and make others happy <clears throat> we can see that you know, this is what we are calling as intention so we can see that intention of every one of us is the same right mm-hmm. we can see this for ourselves and we can therefore conclude for the others also then we will have this feeling of trust on intention of the other so when you look at intention it is defined as natural acceptance and because natural acceptance is something which is definite something which is universal something which is innate unchanging therefore intention of everybody my intention and the intention of everybody is right hmm. so this is one thing about intention and natural acceptance now when it comes to desire what we are saying is that desire is something which we might be having on the basis of our natural acceptance or it might be something which is influenced by my preconditioning and my sensation right mm-hmm. circle if you see the circle is about our desire and on the basis of that thought and expectation so this desire can be on the basis of my natural acceptance it can be based on my preconditioning which i have picked up from all around from parents from teachers from peers from society or those places or it might be influenced by the sensation you know so if i happen to eat something and i liked it so i want 
to have it again if i like a particular kind of house a particular kind of vehicle and i want to have it again so this desire could be either based on my natural acceptance or based on preconditioning or based on sensation mm -hmm. so desire is something which is not definite something which may be definite based on natural acceptance but which may also be indefinite based on preconditioning or sensation so this is what we are saying natural acceptance is something which is definite something in it something invariant something and corrupted by preconditioning and we are calling this natural acceptance is as the intention so intention is also something definite but when it comes to desire may be definite or it may be indefinite depending upon whether it is guided by natural acceptance or not guided by natural acceptance that is when it is guided by the conditioning or sensation <clears throat> we cannot be def be definite about the desire mm. likely to keep changing with the changes in the preconditioning or changes in the sensations around <clears throat> so that is basically the difference between these three words the intention which is equivalent to natural acceptance and the desire okay could you also explain uh, when we say competence is it uh, the skill is the same as competence or something different yeah skill is a part of competence so competence means all desire thought and expectation that i have accumulated right and this car which is at the base of it my acceptances which are the base of this desire thought and expectation so all this will result into my competence mm -hmm. right now if you look at the skill the skill largely has to do with you know my competence regarding the work regarding the things outside regarding the physical facility okay right mm -hmm. so when you look at this right evaluation of competence there will be two part one is evaluation of how much of the imagination is motivated by natural acceptance right mm -hmm. plus evaluation of the skills relevant for the transaction at hand so we may have many uh, desires which are not you know in line with our natural acceptance so that is going to be a part of the problem for competence then if i have the right desire the second issue is that do i have the skill skill in the sense of you know fulfilling that feeling in the relationship mm. so if you define skill as to do with all this you know behavior plus work plus participation in the larger order then you can almost equate this competence to skill but today when we talk about skill it is largely related to the work mm. so in that sense skill is a part of this competence you know is some part of this competence and not everything this competence will include the whole lot of this accumulation that we have made of our desire thought and expectation which is based on our acceptances which may or may not be guided by our natural acceptance so if you want to define a skill in the right sense then you have to define a skill in terms of skill of behavior skill of work skill of participation in the larger order these three things we have to define okay part of the skill this we will talk about when we go you know further and particularly when we talk about harmony in society mm -hmm. we will see that right education and right sanskars 
when we are saying right sanskar will mean this competence developing the competence of understanding the harmony at all levels and living with this harmony living in harmony at all levels so there we will define this skill in you know, more detail present but presently what we understand by skill is this that it has to do with the competence regarding the work but with physical facility with physical world mm -hmm. okay. yeah and typically when we go to evaluate Uh, at work there also they do something about evaluation of skills and something about attitude yeah even now yes so skill has to do with work exactly. mostly and then this attitude has to do with things like likability whether they are able to work in team and things like that yeah so i would say that we should define this skill in the broader sense yeah it will cover what is being defined today in not very you know clear terms about attitude about their you know tendencies and so many things yeah sir what's the difference between potential and competence potential means what is possible for a human being that is the potential and what we are saying is potentially same for all of us because all of us have this you know desire thought and expectation going on in us continuously and all of us have this natural acceptance which is you know intact which is invariant in it so that level potentially same now the question is whether our desire thought and expectation are in line with natural acceptance or not that is competence this we will see immediately when we talk about respect we will see what is potential and what is our competence in the next session on g okay so we'll stop here we'll see you all in the morning tomorrow 5:15 am Thank you very much.